شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My noble believing brothers and sisters, fasting in the month of Ramadan is one of the pillars from the pillars of Al-Islam and it has been made obligatory upon the Muslim and this is supported in the Quran, the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, and likewise the consensus of the Fuqaha, the scholars of jurisprudence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he informed us in his book, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتكون O you believe, O people of Iman, fasting has been made prescribed upon you as it was prescribed upon those that came before you in order that you may attain piety. So the word here in this verse كتب أي فرد it means that fasting has been made compulsory upon the believers. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions later on in these verses of fasting, شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم The month of Ramadan is in which the Quran was revealed. It is guidance for mankind and a clarification of direction and a criteria between right and wrong. So whomsoever from amongst you witnesses the month, then it is upon that individual to fast. Therefore, this is another evidence to establish that fasting has been made prescribed. It has been made mandatory upon the Muslims. Likewise, we find in the hadith of the Prophet wasallam that which is collected by Imam al-Bukhari, and Imam Muslim in their authentic collections on the authority of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma bunya al-Islam ala khams that Islam it is built upon five actions these are the five foundational actions or the head of all actions and from them the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he mentioned fasting as for the wisdoms of fasting then it is a purification from one's soul and likewise, it helps an individual to stay away from having evil thoughts and bad behavior. That is because the Prophet wasallam he said, Inna shaytan yajri fi ibni adam majrad dam. Indeed, the shaytan goes through the body of the son of Adam, similar to how blood flows through the veins. Also, from the wisdoms of why fasting has been made legislated upon the Muslims, it helps those people that are more fortunate, those people whom Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed with the wealth to understand the pains and difficulties that the poor people they go through throughout their lives, not being able to have access to food and drink. So fasting, it brings a person to that reality. Likewise, from the legislation of the day's fasting, which we would like to highlight, is its beginning and end. So it begins at the time of sunrise, and it ends at sunset. And this is based on the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he reveals, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا And eat and drink. حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْتُ الْأَبْيَدُ مِنَ الْخَيْتِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ Until the streak of dawn becomes distinctive from the darkness of the night. ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ And then complete your fasting until the night. So the streak of dawn as the scholars they've explained, this is the whiteness that appears at the time of Fajr on the horizon. When that light becomes distinctive, then this signifies it is time to stop taking the pre-dawn meal. So a person begins fasting, staying away from food and drink, and likewise relation with the spouses. And similarly from anything that will cause an individual's fast to be broken or decrease its rewards until sunset or the time of the Maghrib prayer. So everything that was permissible for him before his day's fasting, 
now becomes permissible for him again. Also from the legislations of the day's fasting is when does the month of Ramadan actually begin? So the believers, they come to this reality from one of three ways. The first is Ru'yatul Hilal. It is the sighting of the new crescent or the birth of the new moon for the month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمْ مُشَهْرَ فَلْيَسُمْ And whomsoever from amongst you witnesses the new moon, then it becomes compulsory for him to fast. Likewise, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he informed us in the hadith that is found in the collection of Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim, سُومُ لِرُؤْيَتِهِ Fast when it is that you see the new moon. So this is the first of the three ways that a person sees the actual moon by himself. If it is that he witnesses the birth of the new moon, then it becomes compulsory upon him to fast, even if he is the only one that is fasting. He actually sees the moon with his own eye. As for the second of the three ways, which signifies the month of Ramadan has begun, shahadatu an ru'ya or al-ikhbar anha is a testimony or information that someone has cited the birth of the new moon for Ramadan. So if it is that a sane and trustworthy Muslim cites the new moon of Ramadan, it becomes compulsory upon the Muslims to begin fasting. And this is based on the statement of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, which is found in the collection of Abu Dawood, and Al-Hakim wa Ibn Hibban declared it to be authentic. He stated, Taranasul Hilal, that the people they saw the birth of the new moon. فَأَقْبَرْتُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَنِّي رَعَيْتُهُ So I informed the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that I saw it. فَصَّامَ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he began fasting. وَأَمَرَ النَّاسِ بِالسِّيَامِهِ And he commanded that the people, they begin fasting. Now we move on to the third and final way which signifies the month of Ramadan has begun. إِكْمَالُ الشَّهْرِ شَعْبَانْ ثَلَاثِينَ يَوْمًا and that is the month of Shaban runs its course for 30 days. So in Islam, the nights precede the days. So after 29 complete days, and on the beginning of the 30th night, the Muslims begin looking for the birth of the new moon. Once it is sighted, it signifies that the month has begun. That is because the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّمَا الشَّهْرُ تِسْعَةٌ وَيَشْرُونَ يَوْمًا The month is 29 days. فَلَا تَسُومُ حَتَّى تَرَوْ hilal. Therefore do not begin fasting until you sight the crescents of the new moon. وَلَا تُفْتِرُ حَتَّى تَرَوْهُ And do not end the month fasting until you see it. فَنْ غُمَّ عَلَيْكُمْ So if it becomes obscure, meaning there is some cloudiness or it is overcast and the moon cannot be sighted due to the weather, فَقْدِرُوا لَهُ Therefore estimate it. The scholars they mention concerning this statement, إِقْدِرُوا لَهُ Estimate it. It means to complete the month of Sha'ban with 30 days. And this coincides with the hadith of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an where he said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, فَإِنْ غُمَّ عَلَيْكُمْ And if it becomes obscure, meaning that you cannot see the birth of the new moon due to weather circumstances, etc. فَعُدُّوا ثلاثين. Then complete 30 days for the month of Sha'ban. And this is what we wanted to present in this sitting. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by His beautiful names and His lofty and exalted attributes that he helps us all to benefit from this tremendous opportunity, the month of Ramadan. And he makes us from those who fast in its days and stand in its nights. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us all a good ending. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha ila ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله we have secured the funds in order to get inside of the building but we need your help to turn this church into a masjid الحمد لله we need to get rid of the baptism area we need to fix the lights and we also need to replace the carpet in the men's masala we also have a women's masala come with me so here is the women's area and inshallah these three classrooms on the left will be demolished to turn into one big women's masala 
And then if you look here to the right, you'll see that we have these two classrooms that inshallah can be demolished to turn into a kids daycare and also a madrasa for the kids. And we also have this gym area that we hope to remodel so that the children have a place to play during the madrasa and while they are at the masjid. And inshallah we plan to remodel this kitchen area as well.